Let's talk about spouts. After I've decorated a slab of clay, I'll then roll it along a wooden cone shape and that'll give the clay a nice continuous curve. The clay has been cut on a bevel and slipped and scored. And then I'll use that cone shape again, sliding it in and it will support the inside so that I can press and compress the seam. I've curved the tip a little bit and now I'm gonna cut open the spout. You can do a lot of shaping then from the inside depending on the body of the teapot that you're trying to attach it to. Please note, this X-Acto knife is very dull. I use it because of the thinness of the blade. It can go through the clay with very little resistance. Then I'll line up the spout onto the body, making sure it's straight and even. And then I'll just draw a line with a pin tool to mark where it's gonna go. Then I'll cut, leaving a half inch overlap. That overlap is scored as well as the bottom of the spout, and then slipped. And I just use water. It seems to work fine with my clay body and how I compress the clay. Now when I attach this, notice I jiggle it a little bit. That helps to seat those two pieces of clay together. I'll support the inside while compressing the outside. The tip of the spout can, can get cut in a variety of different ways. And the lid, well, that's for another day.